Hi everyone! Today's video is the what's in my bag video. I've actually been wanting to do one of these for quite a while but I've had so many different handbags that I had to kind of narrow it down a little bit and then use the bag for a while and then see what's inside it when I film this. The bag that I have is this one. This was um, £10 from Matter and I believe it's got like, these little studs down here. It was on sale from £20 so I absolutely love this. Okay, so let's see what's inside. I'm just going to dive my hand in and see what I can pick up. So first of all is this little Punky Fish um, pencil case or makeup bag. I actually got this in a magazine when I was like 10 and I've still got it now. I used to be obsessed with Punky Fish stuff so when this was in the magazine I bought this, threw the magazine away and I've still got it. It's quite tattered, there's lots of holes in it. Inside, I never actually used it for its purpose, I actually use it to store my earphones and my iPod because a lot of things in my bag are quite scratchy, I don't want the screen to get damaged, I don't want these to get broken. So they stay in here and this way they're a lot safer and they don't actually get very dirty either because I have a lot of food and drink in my bags at times. Let's see, next are some tissues. I've got a receipt from Morrison's where I've spent three pounds and nine pence on my lunch the other night because I work there. I've also got a little mirror which has got some like butterflies on it. This was a Christmas present from my mum so I've got a nice mirror. So that's in there. My mobile which is a LG. I couldn't even tell you what sort of LG it is or knows. It's a smartphone, touchscreen. It's black. Next up is my diary. It comes with a pen. It's got organisers and everything in it. So this comes with me most places. I do kind of forget to take it out with me sometimes, which kind of defeated the object of me getting it in the first place, which was to carry it with me all year. I failed that one already. Next up are my keys. This has got my car key and my door key on it. The rest of them are all just key rings. I've got a Tesco's club card, not that I really even go there anymore. Uh, we've got my Captain America shield. He's my favourite superhero. We've got a classic Air Force torch, which my dad got me from Cornwall, which I use when I'm like trying to get in out of my car in the dark, which is quite ooh. And um, we've got the Haynes Ford keyring, which came in my car key when I got my key keys last year for the car. And lastly is my New York Knicks keyring, which I got in America when I was over there last April. Fish plasters because I'm always cutting myself, such as here. <laughs> okay, next is this spotty notebook, which my friend Abby got me with a beauty box swap that we done together. I'll link her blog in the description below, along with the post where I talked about this on my blog, because this is part of a blogger's box swap that we done. This is for notes for videos, blogs, and just general ideas as I'm out and about. And I use the pen from my diary to write in it. Next up is my EpiPen, which if you've been reading my blog for a while, or been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I am deathly allergic to peanuts, nuts, or just any form of nut in general. And this is the one thing that will slow it down for about 20 minutes to get me to A and E. You will know that I had a bit of an epidemic up at work before Christmas, and I couldn't use it as the one that I had was out of date. So I've now got this one here and a spare one up in my bedroom, which stays here all the time just in case I lose this one. So it's like a little container like this. You pop it out and there's the actual EpiPen. You take the blue bit out, which then activates the needle, which is like in this portion here. And then you stub it in your leg. And I'm terrified of needles, so there's no chance of me ever doing it. So some poor stranger will have to do it for me if I ever need it. Next up is my purse, which is this like creamy beige nude color from Primark. I also have a black Kardashian collection purse with some like golden gems on it and a black one from Harrods but I prefer this one because you can see the money in it a lot easier and also a lot of my cards fit in this. There's like a little buckle thing here with all my things inside it. I haven't actually got any notes at the minute because I'm poor. Let's see what else do I have in my purse. I've got a plaster, a voucher for Morrison's. Uh, some part of my driving license thing. I've got a beauty card for Superdrug, a Morrison's Miles card, an Iceland bonus card, my debit card, driver's license, and my staff discount card for Morrison's. I also have a Millie's Cookies loyalty card, which I've only got two stamps on, so I need to go for two more times and then I get a free bag of four cookies. 
in my bag I've just found um, like three pieces of chewing gum in this little packet and some black currant soothers which are looking quite tattered so I'm not really sure how long they've been in there I should probably throw them out I've also got this which is my lifeline card which says in the back that I'm an anaphylaxis sufferer um, this is so out of date and like very it's just a bit messy but this basically tells you how to use the old EpiPens you can still use the new ones the exact same way but this just stays in my bag and I think anyone other than my mum, dad and sister have actually ever seen this so no one really knows how to treat me if I suddenly go into shock but all the information that I had was on the back and this says that my EpiPen ran out in December 2012 but the one that I've got runs out next January so I really need to update this I've got a little packet of nail files just some like simple card ones these are just when I'm at work because I'm always like chipping my nails on the tills which is really irritating especially there's a sharp bit so just got them when I go on my breaks so I can just quickly file it down I've also got the Playboy Play It Rock body spray which I also have the perfume for which is my favourite one along with an Impulse Very Pink one which is quite small so I've got both of these I've got two paracetamols left and a lot of antihistamines for if I touch some nuts then normally have one of these and it'll stop me scratching myself to death and lastly are my inhalers that's right I'm asthmatic as well this is one that I mainly use I've got about three of these and um, this one's pretty much empty and I've got a half used one upstairs and a brand new one which I got the other day to replace this one the brown one is a lot stronger it's got like two or three percent alcohol in it I think the doctor said. I've had this for about a year and I don't use it very often but this is if I get really really bad so I, this is my like in an emergency one. So that is everything out of my bag. It's now yep, definitely empty. Everything's now just been cast aside now so I'm going to have to repack my bag now and make it a little bit neater. I'm sorry I sound a bit funny in this video. I've got a bit of a cold still which is why I didn't make a video last week. I've been sick for about two weeks now and my throat is so sore but I've felt a bit bad from doing a video last week. I didn't want to miss this week again. Um, so I hopefully will be a lot better next week and I will see you next Monday. If you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe as it's free and then you get to see the videos when they first come out. And that's it and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!